Okay. Happy Thursday, you guys. Thanks for hopping on this afternoon. I really appreciate you taking the time to listen. My name is Brittany Wright. If we have not met, I'm super excited to meet you eventually and really do appreciate your time, uh, whether you're listening to this live or you are listening to this uh, as a recording. I appreciate that either way. So I am just going to take a little bit of like maybe 30 minutes and kind of walk you through how I got started, where um, I kind of was before coaching, and then how and why I started my coaching business. But then more importantly, also talk to you about how you can start and what that looks like for those first few weeks afterward to give you some insight on commitment and time and just goals and like how we work with you as your mentors. So I was born and raised in Michigan. Uh, diehard Midwest girl. You can hear it in my voice probably. My husband and I did move and lived in Florida for seven years, but I'll talk about that in a little in a little while. So I grew up as one of four kids and um, after doing some research on my own children, I have realized that I was the troublemaker. I was the third kid syndrome where what was me? It was always, you know, everyone was always against me. Um, my mom and dad worked really hard. I grew up with two working parents. My mom was a nurse and decided to go back to nursing school when I was, um, she graduated nursing school when I was seven and the same when she had my little brother. It was super cool. And to this day, I always tell him like, it's one of my biggest memories of you. And the reason I tell you that is because I think we miss some of our pieces of childhood and why we are the way we are today and, and moments that we may have missed that impacted us more than we even realized. And I had a great life growing up. I grew up with both my parents and we went to a public school, but hard work was always instilled in us. There was never anything given to us. We had to work for everything. We didn't go on elaborate vacations. I remember in high school, Florida being the first time that I ever left the state. I think I was like 16. And, but we had a good life. I had a stable home life and my parents just continuously taught us kids how to work hard and how to go after what we wanted. And if we didn't, then there were consequences to that too. Uh, I got to high school and after some horrible relationships, even that young, I started to have really hard um, body image issues and eating problems and uh, starting probably my sophomore year of high school. And they ebbed and flowed and eventually I ended up quitting all sports and made some horrible decisions in high school um, and started doing things that I, I mean, no different than probably what some of you may have gone through, but um, not the person that I thought I would have ever been. And um, it was even more driving home the fact of my imperfections and that I am not enough. I'm, you know, uh, less than, and I am not good enough. And I started not eating, I started over exercising, and those habits just carried into about my freshman year of college when I met my now husband, Matthew, and it was in those conversations with him and the way that I was living my lifestyle that I realized that the choices that I was making were now not only affecting me, but they were going to affect the people that I cared about or could care about. And it was through him and his encouragement and just um, those open, honest conversations with him that I ended up seeking um, counseling for my health and my food. And it was through that counseling that she um, encouraged me to switch out my cardio into strength training so that I wasn't making exercise a bad thing and eliminating it in its completeness. But I was finding a different avenue that I was not using um, running to lose weight, running to burn calories, but I was still going to, I was going now to the gym and working with a personal trainer to learn how to build strength, to learn how to exercise in the right way with the right mindset. And uh, th that was way more impactful in my life than I ever thought it was going to be. Uh, it was because of that experience that I ended up going to pursue my bachelor's in exercise science and health and fitness instruction from Grand Valley State. And I graduated and my dream job was to be a corporate health and wellness, um, super or cor work in corporate wellness. I don't know what the title would have been, but to work with corporate companies and to make sure that their employees were healthy and whole and, and, and active and, and making that a lifestyle for them. So 
Uh, fast forward, Matthew and I got married. We moved down to Florida and we lived there for seven years and I did land my dream job. Um, after personal training for hours, 40 hours for several years, I decided I did not want to pursue a personal training job in Florida. I wanted to really focus on that corporate side and I got it and I started part-time and then I went like 75% and then I started a full-time position there and I quickly realized that my job was now to sit at a desk and develop programs to walk people through um, while other people walk them through it or I walk them through it in the classroom but not in the gym fitness facility. So I picked up personal training clients before work, after work, teaching boot camp classes to fill that void of helping people on their health and fitness journey. I loved it so, so much. Um, fast forward nine months from getting that awesome dream job position, I found myself pregnant with twins. We were in a new state. We were barely married two years. I was starting this new job. My husband was starting this new job. And I I was pregnant with <laughs> I was so far from my family, but I had a very healthy pregnancy despite all um, you know, that twin, pre twin pregnancies can bring on. Uh, we delivered them early, but I still gained 80 pounds. Um, and I became a stay-at-home mom, which was Matthew and I's, you know, big vision for our family was we were to get married and I would be a stay-at-home mom, um, partly because that's all I knew other than like, yes, my mom worked, but that's what my friends were doing. That's what people that we were hanging out with were doing. I felt like that's what was expected. So why would I not want to be home with my kids? Like what a gift. Um, and I think at the time I wanted that because my mom wasn't home and I was like, you know what? I want to do that. And about three to four months in, I realized, well, there's reasons God chooses some moms to be stay-at-home moms and some moms to work. And I very, very much started feeling unsettled, um, unfulfilled. My, the twins were great babies and I'm a pretty meticulous person with routine. So it was pretty quick to get onto that. Um, but I just felt unsettled. And I remember about two years, so this is 2013, I remember back in 2011, my now coach and amazing friend Meg reached out to me about coaching and I ignored her. <laughs> I blew her off. I did not, you know, make, I did not want anything to do with network marketing. I wanted nothing to do with a position like this. I had tried twice before and failed miserably because I am an introvert and I did not want to talk to people and I did not want to host parties. But in this unsettled new territory of being mom um, and missing that purpose with health and fitness, I decided I have nothing to lose. Um, the only thing that I can say is I tried it and it wasn't for me and I go back to the drawing board or I try it and here I am almost eight years later. So um, with this business, I wanted accountability to my health and fitness goals. I wanted to learn how to eat better. I learned very quickly that I was not eating very many vegetables in my life. Um, I wanted to be consistent with my workouts. And more importantly, I wanted to make sure that I was losing the weight safely while still nursing the twins. And through Meg's community, even though she wasn't a mom herself yet, I was able to connect with other moms. And um, that was a huge gift for me. Um, there's still some of them we're still good friends today that I remember, you know, our kids are eight and nine now, and we started that journey together. Um, and then as I started helping these women, as I started building this business, I started to actually live. I started to actually dream a little bit. I was now surrounded with women um, our, in our company that were dreaming beyond where they were, whether that meant like not settling for where they were um, in their job, but dreaming a bigger job promotion using the skills and confidence that we build as coaches or believing as a stay at home mom that it's okay to dream and have a, a purpose outside of your home. Um, because I believe when we do that, we're also teaching our kids something. And I believe that, you know, as a mom, God has called me to teach my kids something and maybe probably by me being obedient and stepping out and building and creating this life for um, myself and, fo and following God's plan for my life, I'm teaching them that and I'm giving them skills and a role model and a mentor to follow their dreams like my mom had for me. 
Um, I started believing in myself. I started to have confidence in myself. I started to break out of my shell and enjoy conversations with strangers <laughs> that before I like despised Matthew's like corporate events. Cause I just did, I just did not feel confident in myself. I was five years younger than him and I am five years younger than him. And I was just in this whole different world and mindset but nothing changed. I didn't get older. Um, you know, we were still this five year age gap, but I felt more confident in who I was and what I had to offer. Not just because I was now a coach and mom, but because I was proud of both and I felt confident and, and believed in myself in both roles. Um, but these are things that I never did in high school. I remember some, you know, you grow up and some of your friends have dreams to go to this college and dreams to be a teacher and they know so young what they want to be and do. And, I never really had that. I never really had a dream. I was just going through the motions. I was getting good grades in high school, trying to stay out of trouble the last year. And I got into college by the skin of my teeth. And then I remember just going to school and just going to school and I ended up working and I ended up hating school. Um, but I was just going through these motions because that is what was expected of me. I never took time to sit back and dream a little bit bigger. I knew that I had to work hard which is what I was doing. I was working hard for that next level, but that next level never connected to a purpose for me. There was no why behind it other than to work hard, but why? What was the end goal? What was I working for? What dream did I want to accomplish? What did I want my life to look like and live like and be like? And I didn't even know that I wasn't doing it until I started coaching. And I was around people who were doing that. And that's our daily talk. Like, what do you want in your life? How do you want to feel? How do you want to live? How do you want to look? What do you want to be? What do you want to do? And it was then that the world kind of opened up and possibility became huge. And possibility became possibility not to everyone else, but to me as well. And I started showing up in my challenge groups. I started leading women in our, in our health and fitness. And I will always lead with the health and fitness first because I love that piece of it. And, and that comes natural to me. And the business piece is a piece that I'm so proud of because this offers our families so much opportunity um, if we desire to step out into that calling and be coaches. Um, I know not everyone feels called, but we are all equipped to do this. There's going to be a growing and learning process through it if we're willing to do it. Um, since I started being a coach, my confidence is higher. I have impact within my friends and my family, like my, my brothers and sisters, my, my parents, Matt's family. I also have an impact here. Um, I'll go on just like a personal side tangent, but um, I know that if I was not doing, if I did not say yes to the coaching opportunity and step out of my comfort zone and into this position, that I would not be the mom that I am today. And I would not be able to raise my girls as confidently and assured of themselves as I am today. And I know that um, we just got a diagnosis for my daughter and we're trying to navigate that. And I think if I would have gotten that without doing the work on myself, it would have broke me. But now I know that there's help and it's okay to get help. It's okay to seek help. I'm her best advocate. I know how to ask questions. I know that our trust is in the Lord and he's going to carry us through this and to lean on him. And um, through all of that, I'm still able to, um, we have four kids, they're eight, eight, four, and almost three. Um, and in the midst of all of our crazy chaos, there's impact being made and there's purpose. And I have a successful business with big impact that fits for our family's lifestyle. Um, and financially, because I know that that might be a motivating factor. I wanted motivation for or, uh, motivation. I wanted um, finances to kind of give to our family in a small number in the beginning. And now, um, you know, I'm able to provide for our family greatly by the, by the hard work and showing up. And, um, you know, our, our, your income is a direct reflection of the, the lives that you're impacting and the way that you're showing up in your business and how you're showing up with the work ethic. But because I love what I do, it's easy to show up. It's, it's a joy and an honor to show up and lead people to live a healthier, fulfilling lifestyle. Um, and I can talk to you more about finances if you're interested um, more in depth and in personal. And then the last thing that I was seeking was community and finding friendships and not feeling so alone and isolated. 
um, back then even. Um, and this community has really carried me through the last year to have a place to belong, to go through this journey with and to uplift and to, on the hardest days, wake up and know that I might be having a struggle on a hard day. And I know somebody else in our group is having a struggle, hard day. So I'm going to show up for them. I'm going to show up and in the midst of all of this to know that they can too. And I'm here for them if they can't. Um, but this community of women that I get to create and that you get to create as you join and start your business is awesome. And it is everything. Um, it really is not just about losing weight, but it's about this lifestyle together and creating powerful, confident women that are raising the kids of our future. Um, so cool, so uplifting, and it is just a really, it's an honor to do what we do. So I'm just gonna take a minute to say like, what is it that we do? And in a nutshell, we connect women to a lifestyle that's flexible, doable, and effective in their home. And what I mean by that is with Beachbody, we pair with them. So we sign up as a coach through Team Beachbody, and they will provide you with your business center. They'll provide you with your office. They'll provide you with your storefront. Um, you are your marketing tool. You, your business is your business. Your business is you and how well you're using the products and the results that you're getting. So are your first job as a coach is to wrap your own health and fitness journey, work on your personal development, and then share what that is looking like in your lifestyle and how you're making that a lifestyle and how you've gone from point A to point B to point C and D, and then all the way to Z to share that journey with them. Um, we use our in-home fitness programs like 21 Day Fix or Insanity, or maybe as of recent, if you follow a few trainers, we have um, MBF and MBFA, and we have Nine Week Control Freak, and we have a new Shanti program coming out. But we are not just pushing programs on people. We are reaching people to help them find a solution for their health and fitness, for their, their workouts. Um, you know, for me in the beginning, I was a little hesitant coming from a gym, but at eight years later, I, I missed the gym and just the, the bigness of it and the publicness of it and just getting out a little bit. But I don't miss the results that I wasn't getting because I have gotten way better results because I'm more consistent. I have the plan laid out for me. Um, I have it all set out uh, and I have the calendar to check off. I have the trainer motivating me and I don't have to think about anything. I just have to show up and that's what we help our clients do. We pair them to a program. We help them choose a nutrition program, uh, whether it's Tumi Mindset or Fall Tent Portion Fix so that they have a nutrition style that is working best for them. And then we can help them choose between Shakeology or Performance Line or both or Ultimate Reset if they need a nutritional reset. So many different products um, that we can offer them. And as you grow your business and get comfortable, you're able to help your clients figure that stuff out along the way. And we are always here to help you best help your clients as well as your mentors. So how we do this is we do it in private groups on Facebook. We even have our own Beachbody group app that you can use if you are not on Facebook and you prefer to be off. We have the app that tracks your workouts, your nutrition, your um, Shakeology, your performance line, your water, and, and it'll celebrate you along the way. Uh, we can also do it on one-on-one -on -one, and we also do it on social media. The impact is not just in the sales that you create or the people that are joining you, but in your presence on social media. And I think sometimes we can forget that, even being in this song myself, is that I show up on social media, not just to get a new client or a new coach, but I hope that in my presence, someone somewhere is feeling inspired and starts to believe in themselves and starts to give them, give themselves that gift of transformation through me sharing my story on social media. Um, so what you can expect is once you reach out to the coach that has invited you and get enrolled with them, they can talk to you because it's going to vary a little bit, whether you're starting your whole journey at the first, at the same time, like I did with your health and fitness journey and your coaching business with Beachbody, or if you've been a client for a while and you're ready to take that next step, um, you're going to sign up in different ways and start your business in different ways. So make sure you reach out to the coach that invited you to this call or you got the recording from, and they will help you get set up to make sure that it's individualized for you. Then you'll get a welcome email from your coach and it'll just ask you what and in, in, in a short term um, way, what you want with your business. Is it a part-time hobby? Something that you were looking to create, you know, maybe $500 extra a month for your family? Or is this 
something that you're ready to do and say, uh, my goal is to leave my job. Like I want that. I, I want, a, I want a whole new lifestyle for me and my family. And I believe that this can do that. Um, there's no right or wrong. It's just, we want to make sure that we're equipping you and setting you up for success with what avenue and path that you want. So once you get that welcome email, then we'll start the training and we'll start getting you equipped and trained and get you going right away on starting your business. You'll get um, step-by-step emails on what to do. You will also get access to our two week training, which is all online and all self-paced. Um, this way, your business is literally in your hands. You're not waiting on information from me or the coach that enrolled you and what training to do and when a training start date is happening. You have access to that two week training as soon as you get that first email um, sent to you. And then you will have um, a weekly opportunity to meet with myself and then two other leaders on our team to have a new coach Q and A, right? We'll have a new coach kickoff uh, in February and the first February of the month first Monday of the month. And then after that, every Monday at 12, we have a Q and A session where we offer you the time with us for about 30 minutes to come ask questions, resources, tools. There's no silly questions that you just get us to help grow your business and move it forward. Um, and, and social media, how to connect fears that maybe you're having, limiting beliefs that we can help you work through and just really connect with you for those 30 minutes. Um, and then our job as your mentors is to help you set goals but also help you set actions to get to those goals and help you um, like make sure your goals and what you're willing and what you can invest time-wise and energy-wise into your business match up. Um, our goal is to make is, is to help you feel successful and whatever that looks like for your family and in your own personal goals and your own personal desires for this business, it's doable. We just need to make sure that they align up and we get action steps to for you, for you to take in your individual business. Um, you have all it takes. I was a very non-confident, very no dreams. I would have never guessed in a million years that we'd be sitting in the house that we have with four kids and I'd be running a six figure business in health and fitness. Like I get to help women become their best selves as a job. And that is amazing. And I was no different than you. I was no different. Um, I didn't have a good social media following. I had zero skills on social media other than posting and being confident posting because I was sharing my life um, with family states away anyway. But the girl you see today is a result and a product of seven years of consistency, eight years, I guess, eight years of consistency, eight years of showing up and trying new programs, four babies, moves across the country, but this business has been my constant. This business has been my safe ground. This business has centered me. It has grown me. And it has been the vehicle, I believe, in my life for God to use me in so many ways for my individual family, for growth in myself, and for his kingdom out there. And I believe that if you're on this call, there's a little nudge that's saying that that's something that you desire to or that God might have for you. And I get it <laughs> if you're a little fearful or a little hesitant. We were all there. But I will tell you that you will not regret trying you will not regret showing up and being consistent and just stepping into you know what the next chapter of your life could be um through the programs and products and personal development that we we have as coaches so uh, i hope to see you on team fhk soon i hope to see your face and recognize you and celebrate you and go along this journey on, on with you so thank you again for your call your time today being on this call and if you have questions, you can uh, message me directly, or you can just reach out to the coach that uh, invited you and sent you the recording to this call. So happy Thursday, you guys. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time.